absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Could you also feel the presence of God surround you while they were singing? And could you also hear the deafening silence when they stopped? With the image of the soldier singing this hymn in the trenches in my head, Psalm 27 means a lot to me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Now, interestingly enough, this psalm was also written against the background of wartime. The author was afraid of his enemies but he knew that he would be safe in the house of God. In Old Testament times, this, of course, was not only a metaphor. It was literally true. In those days, there was a specific altar in the temple of God. And if anybody needed asylum, all they had to do was to go into the temple and hold on to the horns of this altar. Because if they did that, their enemies couldn't touch them. They would be safe in the presence of God. And you know, no matter how dark things sometimes can be around me, I also always feel safe in the presence of God. Of course, we know that God is not only present in his house. We know that he is everywhere. He is there with you now, there where you are in your house. He is with you when you are home, but he is also with you when you are out and about. He is always with you in cloud and sunshine and darkness and light. Nothing and nobody we are scared of can touch us if we are in the presence of God. And let's face it, we've all been through some pretty dark times this past four months. A virus waged war on humanity. And all we could do, and very often still can do, is to wait in our houses while the people on the front line are fighting in the trenches to keep us all safe. But on top of this threat to our health, we've had to deal with so much hardship, not just worldwide, but very close to home too. Some of our own people lost their jobs and are struggling to make ends meet. Some of our own people ended up in hospital and we couldn't even go visit them. Some of our own people died and all we could do was Stand and watch from a distance as the hearse drove past us or the coffin was lowered into the ground. It's all so unnatural, heartbreaking. As if it's not hard enough to have to go through difficult times like this in the first place. We very often now have to go through it alone. That might be what we feel like sometimes. But you know, that's not actually true. We shouldn't think about it like this. Because we are Christians. And although we might sometimes feel utterly alone, 
we never are. God is with us, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, through cloud and sunshine. Our faith gives us hope. And that is what I hear when I listen to abide with me. That is what I feel when I sing abide with me. Hope. Even in times when we are surrounded by all kinds of enemies, worries, difficulties, fear, illness, loneliness, loss, we are not alone because God is with us. God abides with us. So why don't we follow the example of the soldiers and trenches and when we feel anxious, scared or alone, start singing the comforting words of abide with me. And let's not only sing it, let's also believe it. Let's also live it so our neighbours can see it and then start doing it too. And then their neighbours can see it and also start doing it too. And before we know it, the peace of God will surround everyone, comfort everyone and give them hope. And this is a really important because where hope is alive, no battle can ever be lost. Amen. I would now like to invite Troda Lawton to lead us in our prayer for others. And this will be followed by our concluding hymn, which is Stuart Townsend's rendition of The Lord's My Shepherd. 